Hey guys, Oregon Templar here. Another Teen Titans character profile, this time on Robin. Um, I initially hated Robin, because to be honest, he's kind of a dick. Um, but he kind of grew on me over time. Uh, the thing I really like about Teen Titans is all the characters are very deep and kind of multi-dimensional, and Robin's no exception. Um, Robin's character arc over the course of Teen Titans is really about him trying to be his own man. Um, he grew up in the shadow of, well, one of the greatest superheroes of all time, probably the greatest, most known superhero of all time, Batman. He was raised by Batman. He didn't have, um, his, his parents weren't around, really. Um, his, well, his parents died, so he was raised by Batman, who was a very distant father figure. At the same time, um, Bruce Wayne is kind of one of those beyond men, uh, figures. He's almost kind of like a god. Um, and Robin grew up in the shadow of basically a god, of basically this, this, all, this seemingly all-powerful, almighty figure that just has such an immense legacy. And Robin always had to play second fiddle to it, and he always had to unsuccessfully try to imitate um, Batman uh, when he wasn't Batman, um, when he didn't have the fundamental coldness and aloofness that was necessary to be someone like Batman. Um, he just isn't. And you can really see this in Teen Titans. Because as with the series starts, he's a lot more uptight. He's a lot more trying to do things on his own. Like in the first two seasons, uh, which kind of revolve around his character, I think it's the first season, he becomes Slade's apprentice, uh, as shown in this picture, in an attempt to bring down the main villain of Teen Titans single-handedly. So he doesn't tell the team anything about it. He just goes off on his own. He does some big scheme to try and lure Slade into a trap by pretending to join his side. So that happens. And um, this is really him trying to be Batman. He's trying to do what Batman would do. He's trying to infiltrate. He's trying to go on his own. But that's just not Robin. who Robin is. Robin isn't as incapable of interacting with other people or getting close to other people as Batman is. Um, and, and Batman's lessons, well, Batman has taught him to fight. Batman has also imposed a way of life and a philosophy on Robin, which he's just completely unsuited for. So I think that's interesting. Um, and kind of over the course of the series, he learns to trust his team. He learns to stop being so paranoid, etc. Um, you can really see, though, the inferiority complex continuing to go on in his obsession with Slade. And his obsession with catching Slade. Because he feels Slade, he has to catch Slade to prove to himself that he's as good as Batman. That he's a worthy son for his father. And that's that's basically, um, in a nutshell, his character. Um, he's, he also has an inferiority complex because he's the only member of the team that doesn't have superpowers. Um, he has some gadgets and he has um, acrobatics and some other stuff. But in general, uh, he, he lacks the kind of um, godlike powers of the rest of his team. I know Cyborg is just a machine, but Cyborg has a laser cannon in his arm. And, like, can lift, like, tons and tons of stuff. Um, so Robin doesn't have any of that. So he has to overcompensate by, by using his mind, much like Batman, and being excessively paranoid, excessively aware... Because unlike the rest of the team, if he gets hit, he's dead. It's game over, man. Um, he's by far the most fragile member of the team. And so he really needs to um, to compensate for that. Now, so that's kind of the basis of his character. Uh, Raven and him get along very well because uh, Raven and him both kind of have a troubled childhood. Um, they're both people who excessively overthink things. They're both people who, because of the way they grew up, have trouble getting along with others, etc. Um, I think that Rave and Robin probably would have been a more natural pairing. Um, they have this whole opposites attract thing, but I, I think that's a load of hooey. I think Raven and Robin would probably be the most successful couple. I can't honestly see Raven and Beast Boy, um working out they're just too fundamentally different raven and robin aren't particularly um different though <clears throat> they're very similar 
Um, but his main relationship is not with Raven, it's with Starfire. Now, I think it's, it's very interesting that they decided to pair these two characters together. I actually think in a way it works, because it's, it's very easy for Starfire to kind of dismiss her as a, um, as a kind of valley girl, but I'll do a video about her. I kind of see Starfire as more of like a happy-go-lucky idealist. I see her as a very idealistic, a very kind, compassionate, loving character, rather than just kind of a shallow, girly girl character, which is kind of what her appearance would suggest. But she's really, um, I, I think that describes her a lot better. I think to some extent that is what R Robin needs. Um, he needs someone who will just lighten up, who will literally be the star fire in his life, um, who will brighten up his, um, his uh, demeanor, who will, will tell him to stop working, will make her, her him take her out on a date, will um, just kind of bring him back to earth and make him feel some, some real human emotion. Because Robin has a lot of trouble. It's kind of um, one of his big problems as a character. It's a problem he shares with Raven. And Starfire kind of fills that void in him. Starfire also allows him to be different from his father. And really, that's kind of why Robin left and why Robin decided to form the Teen Titans was to, to become his own man, to prove that he was worthy of his father, but also to show that he was different from his father and to actually get close to someone and to actually love someone and to actually um, fall in love with someone is something Batman has immense trouble doing. And if Robin can do that and Robin can have a positive, stabilizing influence on his life, if he can have friends, etc., he won't turn out as like a bitter, angry, depressed man like like his um adopted father is. So that's kind of Robin. That's why he's there. That's kind of his flaws, and that's his relationship with uh Starfire in a nutshell. This is Argon Templar signing out.